Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in Weymouth. I'm standing down by the marina. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you three disused railways. So, um, the first one is just over here and it's probably the most famous of Weymouth's disused railways. I'm just going to go around the corner here and across the road. And here it is. It's the old um, Weymouth Key Branch. It's more of a tramway, but conventional National Rail trains actually came down the road. There's some videos from the 1990s. I've seen the trains go down. Have you? Now. I've witnessed them when Great. I was a yeah. young boy. You're welcome. Thanks for. So, as this gentleman just said, he's seen trains come along here, and um, I wish I had. So, yeah. There's proof a local has said that. So yeah, trains used to come along here. It's the old Weymouth Key branch. What we're going to do now, what I will do a feature on that video in the future. Um, I mean, sorry, I'll do a video, yeah, which is on that branch in the future. But today I want to show you two other disused railways. So if we go across this bridge, which I think was once a through road, which has now become an over water car park. Looking across the river way, you can see a modern road bridge. Well, that is where the railway bridge of the old Portland line used to go. So the trains would have branched off near Weymouth Station and they'd have gone across there, about where those flats are. But before we get to do too much on that one, we're going to walk along the trap bed of another disused railway line. Now this one I don't know too much about. It was a miniature railway. It ran along the shore here. I'm not sure, it's a shame that man didn't come with us. He probably could have told us. It probably ran from about where that cyclist is up over there. I think it possibly went under the railway. So I've seen some pictures from the 60s. It took me a while to work it out because I had in my head it went on that side of the river but it didn't. I managed to work out by looking at the buildings. I worked out they definitely was on this side of the river. So a miniature railway ran along here. I'm not sure which, what gauge it was, but if anyone knows, then do please comment and tell me. And then, so with that, we started with a standard gauge one. We are now on the track bed of a miniature railway. And we're just coming towards our third standard gauge railway, which came across here. Now that was the old line to Portland, which had, um, a rather complicated history for a rather short branch. It, it went all the way to Eastern in Portland, but there were different railways coming and going in Portland with, um, that's the Isle of Portland for those of you who don't know. Now, where have I got to go? I think it's this way. I've got to find, finding the, my way out of it is a, quite a walk. So I think the track bed would have come across here, over here, all these modern roads, of course, wouldn't have been there and the first station out of Weymouth is is just along here so we shall go and find it so this was the old Portland branch and um, there were various railways on Portland I remember as a child staying there on holiday and we went and found um oh that's it says western that's might have come up on the wrong side of the road I can see where I want to go that's what I was looking for, my landmark. St Joseph's Church, Catholic Church. So, where we are now, we are... What is now a road was actually the railway track then. So it comes straight across there where the bridge is. Across here. And when you get to here, we can see some fairly obvious signs that this was a railway, because there's actually a railway station. So, when I've got across the road, which can do right now we can actually have a proper look so we've come from over there this way actually but anyway so it tells you a bit about it 1865 to 1965 so 100 years there was a railway line from here to Weymouth now it's quite a nice little map here so there's, there was Western Holt Rodwell Sandersfoot Castle and eventually White Regis. So 
It's now known as the Rodwell Trail, which is the name of the suburb of Weymouth, Rodwell. Um, it takes you down to Sandersfoot Castle, which is one of the first ever Henry's Adventures videos. Where are we going to get that far today? I don't know, but let, let's um, start and see how far we get. So this is the old station here. Interesting. I think it's metric, but this is, we are zero metres. So I think what will happen as we go along the railway, as we'll probably see in later videos, the, um, the metre signs will go up. That's what I'm the end of the station platforms it's getting really a bit too windy now to talk anymore so i hope you enjoyed the video from the rodwell trail thank you very much for watching and goodbye